Good morning, you're watching FloridaDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. We're at Services 2024, second day of the show, and I'm in the i for f space with John Reitfeld, the CEO. John, how are you doing? I'm very well, Kemp. How are you? I'm good. It's good to be with you. So, uh, you, you've got a slogan or a tagline that I want to talk about. It's called, uh, you're transforming connections, is that right? Right, to, okay. for the better. Right. And what, <laughs> what, what, tell me what that means. Yeah, so we, we, we are connecting. We always have said that I4F should become a platform where we bring IP together with the market. So mostly somebody has a good idea, but has not a good idea how to market it and how to get customers. So we're connecting that. And of course, the link is made to connections to our locking systems. Okay. And you have 10 years on that same banner up there. So uh, that's how long you've been the I4F, right? Yeah, because we, uh, we founded the company on the 3rd of December in 2013. So last December, we were 10 years old. Okay. Well, let's catch up. You've had a lot of wins. First, uh, most people know that I4F is an intellectual property company, uh, and they license uh, patents and trademarks uh, in the business. There's several firms in that business, and all three are in the in the locking systems. Yours was introduced last, and has actually become the kind of the market share leader, right? Yeah, what we always believed when we started, that was actually my concept, why I thought it was good to, to start what we did, uh, is we have transformed the market to a drop lock market. Uh, we always thought that what others called a easy to install system was not so easy. I, took, I always take myself as an example. I'm not so technical um, you know, to, to install. So everyone should be able to do that. That was the principle. That became this drop lock uh, system, triple lock, 3 out triple lock and uh, click for you. And uh, yeah, that has been uh, taken over the market. Of course, helped by um, also the start of new material products uh, because they have certain characteristics, either they're too flexible or too rigid, so it doesn't work all with all locking systems, but our system worked well. And secondly, there was, uh, because of an increased market at that moment, uh, not enough installers to install, so it became not only a good product for installers who could install more square feet per hour, but also for people who wanted to do it, do it yourself. Yeah, and that has picked up tremendously. If you look currently to new material products, but in the meantime also laminate or even engineered wood, more and more lines are going to drop lock systems. Yeah, that's right. So you can put it in a lot faster. And that's, and you know, with the, that's the key principle. Yeah, with the price of installation now and the cost of labor, it just makes sense you go with the system that you can put in in a hurry, right? Yeah, 100%. Because uh, again, you know, there are not enough installers. We are working on that as well as an industry. Huh? Um, but we need to take the fact, and yeah, you, you can install it faster, That's, uh, and it's easy. Yep. So you've had a, a few really big wins lately. Um, you were the licensing company for the Hemen digital printing line, and uh, I believe there's been four sold, uh, which uh, you know you now have the, the licensing rights for. And, there's, and I've actually seen the, the engineered floors line and it's amazing to see what's going on there and what it really looks like. So that's a win for you, right? Absolutely. I think the development has been tremendous. Huh? As you may recall, uh, we, we know each other now for several years, huh? but uh, we had our vision that we wanted also to transform the, the flooring market to a digitally printed product. That is the next phase also as a sell up and, you know, more choice of design. Um, and then when you see, it's a little bit like what happened with locking, if you then see that it takes an effort, of course, to convince a market that this is the new way to go, and, and then you have your first customers, the first lines who are sold, um, and, and now you see the product, at least in three uh, locations here at Surfaces, where the products are physically on the ground. Yeah, that is for me of always like a dream, right? It's like from concept to reality. To reality. Exactly. And uh, I think it's only the beginning. Yeah, because there will be strong developments in this area. Uh -huh. So it's uh, engineered floors, CFL, a a HMTX, uh, they're putting theirs in, in China, and then Amarim has bought one and as well. Amarim, yeah, and Amarim. And there is another one who has installed the line who is also here at Surfaces, is a police company, Balinec. Okay. Oh. Um, so, yeah, we have uh, more and more coming up. Okay. So um, another technology that you're talking about here has to do with decking and fastening decking. Tell, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, um, we, we believe that, you know, we should go a little bit adjacent, huh? we, we say from the floor upwards, but also outwards. Um, we, we think that outdoor is actually the next area where we can have easy installation, where we can have more choice, and also thinking about digital printing huh, in, in, uh, in that level. And so we found a partner um, who had a unique installation system, 
and uh, we have yeah, made an agreement with them and we represent now this technology yeah, and we try and it is kind of interesting because yeah, we, we see here almost only indoor uh, flooring manufacturers but all of them are very much interested in also making you know this this next step because yeah it goes from inside outside um, so we have lots and lots of interest I think this can be really a new growing segment Another announcement you've run recently is your partnership with Amram on a composite. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, that's a, a cork composite uh, with other recycled uh, materials. We think that uh, new material products goes in, in different directions. Um, and yeah, we, we can offer uh, all the pluses and minuses of all the different compositions. Uh, but we are like a shop of the technologies and the customer ultimately will decide. Um, we know that cork has a lot of, uh, first of all, is of course very sustainable, um, but has a lot of other characteristics which are good, like sound absorption and, and whatnot. So yeah, we are happy to, uh, to have that in, also, uh, in our portfolio, and there is a lot of interest for that. All right. And the last one we need to mention, the last press release you sent, your actual uh, din dinner partner last night, Harlan Stone, you and the two of you got together, and you're going to be helping him grow the TPU business, right? Yeah, I think you know, Hylon has been a partner for many years. Um, he is a good visionary, has brought quite some innovations to the market, and yeah, he has this, and, and ha has and had this strong belief in um, a uh, completely sustainable composition, a panel which uh, ultimately should be circular, uh, because uh, kind of the dream space is that you basically buy one time a floor so this is not so good news for all the flooring manufacturers but there will be other services but you buy one time a floor and ultimately if you bring back that floor there will be a new floor made out of those raw materials which have been uh, recycled uh, quite unique the, the structure is uh, based on a thermoplastic polyurethane um, has a lot of pluses in terms of yeah, characteristics of the board I must say for a locking company, which we are in our core still, um, yeah, it's a dream yeah. because the performances on, on the materials, uh, it all comes together. Right. Um, so yeah, it's another example of, of, let's say, the direction the whole market goes in terms of sustainability. So you've been busy, haven't you? I've been very busy, Kemp. <laughs> you were on, uh, we were in Domatex together and you were on my panel. Thank you so much for uh, being on a panel talking about sustainability. Yeah, no, you're more than uh, more than welcome. It's one of, uh, you know, it's one of our beliefs. Uh, we have a new, a new uh, R&D center in Belgium. Also there, we have uh, sustainability uh, throughout the building. Um, it's a, it's a direction. Uh, it's uh, we need to keep going. We need to make the product so interesting that the consumer uh, don't go on holiday, but they buy flooring. Uh, right. That is the thing. Okay, great, great to be with you, John. Again, been talking to John Wrightfeld, the CEO of IFRF, and you've been watching Kempar and FloorDaily.net.